What is good, Tesla family? It's your boy Ray J back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the one and only Tesla why I'm extremely bullish for the somewhat near term and long term futures. I'm going to talk about what the mainstream media has been saying about Tesla quite recently. I'm going to end this video by talking about what Elon Musk, the man, the myth, the legend Elon Musk, has been tweeting about Tesla quite recently. Now, before I do get started with the price predictions and the Tesla tweets, I do have to mention that I'm not a financial legal or taxation expert, so I don't take this as financial legal or taxation advice. Everything in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only. And also, if you guys can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this. Not only benefits me, but benefits the entire Tesla community as a whole. With all that said and done and out of the way, guys, let's get on with the videos. Look at the one day chart for Tesla. And I am talking kind of faster than usual because I do have a ton to get over. But from the one day chart for Tesla, guys, we can see that we had high volatility, really, really high volatility. Tesla started off at 1054. We dropped with some volatility. We ended up dropping all the way down to $1,019 a share. We ran up to the 1,030s, back and forth and back and forth, jumping between levels of support and resistance. We closed our $1,033.42, once again down 2.83% for the day. There's a reason as to why we're down, but let's just look at some technical indicators real quick. We can see right now high volatility from this Bollinger Band standpoint. We touched the lower band many, many times, and then we did close above the mean price, which just shows that Tesla could still be moved very, very dramatically as a lot of people get excited when they see Tesla dip, they start buying it. But at the same time, there were pieces of news that brought it down, and we're not necessarily in the perfect time for Tesla. Look, I'm very, very bullish for this company. I see this thing hitting $2,000 within the next few years and easily beating $3,000 by 2025 very, very easily. I'm extremely bullish. I see insane potential in this company, but we're not at a moment where Tesla is going to keep going up. We might see some sideways action here and there because of the whole Elon Musk selling situation and some pieces of news that just came out. But and guys, I kid you not, I still believe in this company. I see insane potential in it, and I do believe Tesla is going to kill it. It still is at a bargain, no matter where it drops to. It's still at a bargain, and I still am very, very bullish. So, anyways, looking at some um, MACD and RSI data, we can see that the RSI did drop just a little bit after what happened today. We're at 42.86. The MACD is indicating we're still in a bit of a bearish trend right here. That doesn't necessarily mean we're going to continue to drop. Like, like I said before, we do have support, very strong support at 1,000, but if that doesn't completely hold considering that elon musk may have to keep on selling some tesla shares we could drop as low as 900 but don't worry if we do hit that number i i'm very confident that we're going to have another reversal the maxi should flip quite soon and we should be right back on the way to seeing Tesla slowly stirs up its way up before all-time highs come again and before Tesla hits those really high numbers. Remember, there are many, many catalysts out there from the full self-driving technology to all that good stuff. But before I do talk about that, let's just talk about a big piece of news that came out. And I do want to talk about it. Uh, it says right here, let me start with this article. It states that a Tesla owner claims that the first full self-driving beta crash in strange uh, complaint. And that's a little bit bad news for Tesla that maybe played a big role in it dropping today, being in the red for today. And that's because basically a person was driving and someone filed a complaint claiming that they had their Basically, their Tesla was on autopilot and the car went to the left lane and it, ac it accidentally caused an accident. And yeah, I mean, it says right here in the complaint, it says that the vehicle was in full self-driving beta mode while making a left turn. It went the wrong lane and it ended up hitting another driver in the next lane. And yeah, I mean, things like this could happen. And I'm going to be 110% honest with you guys. The full self-driving beta is still in a testing phase. It's not 110% ready, but that's not anything I'm worried about because once in a while, there's going to be an accident here and there. But remember, in my opinion, and based off my research, these cars are way, way, way safer than an, an average person driving in terms of how many accidents happen per capita. So it's like how many accidents would happen if you put your car in full self-driving beta mode out of every 1,000 cars. There's still relatively safe cars in my opinion but at the end of the day they're not a hundred percent perfect just yet they're still improving every single day so when you think of tesla don't just look at it from the short term and see oh my goodness it's in the red think about the long term think about the next few days the next few weeks the next few months where this is going to be the next few years even imagine how high tesla share price is going to be in five years imagine how much better the full self-driving technology is going to be in five years i also want to talk about this article right here it states that watch a tesla model s beat the fastest gas sedans around a real racetrack that's absolutely huge that's absolutely amazing the tesla model s played went around a racetrack its time was a minute and 27 seconds whereas a bmw m5 cs which is also an awesome car i'm not trying to bash bmw but they took a minute 28 and over that a cadillac uh, ct5-v they they took um 
a minute and 28 seconds as well a little bit longer but the tesla model s played it's a monster guys it has a capability of hitting a thousand horsepower if you were to tune it up and for me it's one of the quickest electric cars out there it has insane performance it also broke another record i believe in germany as well i mean these cars are just insane so do not lose faith in tesla this is just another catalyst out there the tesla model s plate is going to be a monster i also want to note this right over here it says that tesla increased the model y prices again as new incentives are coming once again there was a, a slight tiny increase in the tesla model uh, y price a one thousand dollar price increase which is not that bad and the reason it's not bad news is you don't need to worry about this as there's an extremely high amount of demand for these tesla cars no matter how they're priced because as long as they stay within a certain range people are going to keep buying them there are plenty of people in the world who are just going to keep on buying them and as they produce more and more and more we can expect the prices to start dropping so do not look at this as bad news i'm not going to go into full details in this article but i'm just putting it out there it's not bad news guys do not let the media scare you now the last significant article I'm going to talk about is the fact that Tesla vehicle in full self-driving beta mode severely damaged after a crash in California. So yeah, the media is probably going to exaggerate. They're going to act like it's the worst thing in the world. I totally get that. And I, I just want to reiterate this, that it just it basically slammed into another car by accidentally going into the left lane but it wasn't the worst thing ever in my opinion it didn't cause anyone to get extremely injured or hurt it didn't cause anyone to at least pass away and i'm very happy about that but at the end of the day i do have to admit that the full self-driving beta is not 100 percent perfect there may be some bugs here and there in the software but it's still improving as time progresses it's nothing for me to be extremely scared about for the long-term future of tesla i'm still very excited anyways this is an article i want to talk about from cnbc guys the this is fake news this is a lie right here it states that elon musk taunts tesla rivian tesla rival rivian after its blockbuster market debut now if you guys were watching my video from yesterday i showed you his actual tweet and this article is not showing you his actual tweets they're just showing a part of it and taking it out of context look at what they said they state that elon musk stated that there have been hundreds of automobile startups both electric and combustion but tesla is the only american car maker to reach high volume that is not what Elon Musk actually said, guys. He did say this, but there's another tweet that he, he had two lines in his Twitter page when he responded to someone. And I showed you guys in this in my yesterday video, and they're just showing one part of it and then acting like he's attacking Rivian. He's taking, he's taunting them. I'm like, guys, that's not what's actually going on. And let me prove it to you. This is the actual Elon Musk tweet, okay? This man named Sam stated that when Tesla IPO'd uh, at a value of $1.7 billion, uh, they had been selling roadsters for two years and then they stunned the world. And then they, this person stated that no criticism to rivian but 24 hours into ipo and the market cap is 100 billion with zero revenue elon musk said this i hope they're able to achieve high production and break even cash flow that is the true test then he said that part there have been hundreds of automobile startups both electric and combustion but tesla is the only american car maker to reach high volume production and so on and so forth so is he really mocking them is he really saying that rivian is this or that no he said i hope they're able to achieve high production and break even cash flow that is the true test this article is not showing that part where he's wishing the best for them guys they're just showing one small part one tiny quote from him and then making a story just to get clicks and views i want you guys to be very aware of this that don't do not believe everything you see like that just be aware that there are articles out there that are very biased and they just feed off clicks so anyways with that said and done and out of the way guys let's get on with the elon musk tweets right now someone from tesla silicon valley club they tweeted full self-driving beta for canada and elon musk replied he stated this no guarantees but maybe next month that's absolutely huge requires quite a bit of incremental testing and code tweaks for different road systems in canada once again absolutely big news if tesla could actually achieve this by next month that's going to make may, maybe help their share price it's going to make people very excited and it's going to give them even more exposure and finally, the last really significant Elon Musk tweet regarding Tesla is he liked this tweet about the Tesla Gigafactory in Shanghai. Basically, they're pressing aluminum uh, die casting, which I just think is really cool. It's one of the best processes out there. And why is this significant? It's because 
when a Tesla has their body, typically Tesla bodies require lots and lots of different parts. But the thing is, this system of using a body cast, it allows them to produce the car with less parts. They can make the body with a cast. Now, that's good because it helps them when they're trying to scale up their company even more. It helps them produce the cars faster with less hassles. And that's absolutely huge for Tesla. Elon Musk is reminding us of this. So it's a very, very big piece of news that's coming out. And Teslas are basically, they're not just improving their business, but they're improving the efficiency of their production. Finally, guys, the last thing I want to talk about, and this does not have much to do with Tesla, but huge congratulations to SpaceX and Elon Musk. I mean, you can see that their Starship 20 just performed the first ever six engine static fire, huge milestone for the upcoming orbital launch. Very, very big news. Elon Musk liked this and put this all over his Twitter. We saw this everywhere. So I'm just putting it out there quickly. Huge shout out to SpaceX and Elon Musk. They're making insane progress. I'm very proud of them. Anyways, so for Tesla, and what does this mean? And I do apologize if I end up going a little bit overboard on this video. The time frame is a little long, but anyways, Tesla is at a pretty good state. I do believe that we're going to see a massive recovery in the future. And the future means maybe next upcoming weeks, if not a month or so. But remember, Elon Musk is still going to be selling some of his shares. He's not 100% done with selling. On top of that, guys, uh, we could see some drops here and there. But the lower we drop the more support Tesla has, which is why I don't see this thing crashing like the way people are saying. It's not going to dump to 500, guys. That's not going to happen. The lowest I really see it dropping to is, well, I'm not sure where it's going to drop to. I just want you guys to know it has support at 1,000. If it doesn't hold that, the other strong level of support would be around the 900. And the lowest I can really see it dropping to is the high 800s but if it does touch that it's going to have a very emotional bounce right back up probably as high as 1000 again so once again it's not the end for tesla we're just at a very short phase where it's just dropping and maybe going a little bit sideways but eventually like i said before if you guys could get tesla at 1000 or at least where it is right now, or even as low as 900, you are getting an absolute steal in my opinion. It's not financial advice, but I'm just putting it out there. I definitely see this company absolutely taking off and going to the moon. It has insane potential. So for me, it's a blessing. It's a it's it's an amazing opportunity to get Tesla shares at very, very huge discounted prices because I'm extremely bullish for this company. I see this thing going to many thousand in the future. And just five years from now, I easily see it beating 3000 and it may even go higher than that. That's just three years from now, three or four years. I mean, that's just a couple of years from now. I see this at 3000, easily three Xing. Then imagine what's going to happen in 10 years. I mean, it's just insane the amount of potential this thing has. We have many catalysts from the energy sector that it's entering to what Elon Musk has been tweeting about, to the battery technology, to the AI. I mean, there's so many huge catalysts coming. Tesla is going to kill it. Once again, I just want to reiterate, we may see it drop a little bit, but it's going to have a big reversal eventually, and all-time highs will come again quite soon. With that said and done, thank you so much for listening. Please have a great rest of the day, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much, and peace out.